Right, so we've got a link that's your own personal calendar link, but you might want it to be embedded within a blog post or in a page in your website, and um, you um, want it to show on there, right? So what we can do is, is we can either add a button, we can obviously copy a link to that, to that direct page. We can embed the scheduler. We can embed a booking button. So it just says add booking uh, or a booking bar, right? So let's try a few of these. Let's just, just obviously direct link is just changing a link. So let's, we're going to embed this scheduler, right? So I will do it in WordPress, but I've only got my blog as WordPress. So I'll have to do it um, in this blog. So you're going to log into your WordPress page, right? WordPress, I've done it right, yeah. And you're going to do a new page. So go page here, all pages, and add new. Uh, schedule a meeting. And then add here. Uh, some code so we've just copied the code right embeds uh, da, da, da. we want to embed HTML let's have a look um, was it HTML it might not even be HTML uh, Hulu enter your embed here no that's not it sorry I should have tested this first shouldn't I let's get rid of that go away remove right it's embed uh, let's just do HTML, custom HTML, put my code in, publish, publish. And it's going to show uh, that iframe HTML code, yeah, and we're going to view, right, view. I don't use WordPress that often other than my blog. So within my schedule, within my website now, I've got a page that says schedule a meeting. And here's my calendar. Right, and people can do exactly what they were doing before, but within the website, right? The same can be done for booking button. So if you do a you do a blog post and you go, um, let's go to a post. Let's go to a, you know, let's go here view. So this is a blog post and I'm going to edit in. At the bottom, I'm going to add, schedule a booking or a booking button right so again i come down to my bottom add a html just type in html drop in the code update so i know many people read my blog so it won't matter that they're seeing this so now at the bottom of my blog schedule an appointment and it's going to pop up and show that right or we can go to this booking bar which I think may not want it to, uh, it might not. I'm gonna change this code to the booking bar. And this time it should be all the way across. I haven't tested this. But we'll see. Oh, there's the booking bar at the top, look. Uh, uh, if I log out, you'll be able to see it. Back. There's the booking lot. Yeah, Happy Me Limited, schedule an appointment, and you can change that. So again, you can you can schedule an appointment to when you're free at the top of the page, right? So I will, you know, so you can see that you can embed it, you can have a page, you can put it in a page anywhere, you can put a button in uh, at the end of anything, and you can have a bar at the top, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can have a link that just said in your menu, schedule it. I'll show you that, shall I? Let's just log back in. Let me finish it off rather than just saying you can do it. Um, am I logged in? Yeah. So let me delete this bit first so that bar is gone. Is it updating? Was it crapped out? Oh, yeah. Post updated. So now that bar's gone. But what I want to add is this link, direct link paulnico.as.me and I want to put it in my menu. I want to say here, schedule schedule a meeting. You're going to go to here, menus, or if you're in the back end, you go to appearance, menus, add a custom link, paste in that link you've just got, and do um, ah, uh, book a meeting or schedule an appointment or whatever. Add it to the um, 
menu, save it, visit your site, and oh, visit your site. That went to the Bluehost thing, and now it says here, book a meeting. And it's just going to jump to that link and say there's now you can schedule a meeting right so you can see that you can quickly and easily have very various places where people can schedule an appointment with you uh da -da -da, yeah let me get rid of that cool